हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सेक्शुअल एंड ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन मार्केशिया एंड दिस इज पार्ट सेकेंड इन पार्ट वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्कस्ड अबाउट जनरल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ मार्केशिया एंड वट एवर इज नेसेसरी सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन so if we see a thallus of marginia as i already told you that it is a marginia marginial thallus and these are gamma cups so now we are going to discuss that what is the uh, asexual reproduction and how many methods are there so asexual reproduction generally takes place by three methods fragmentation adventitian branches and gamma cups or we can say gamy fragmentation now what is fragmentation fragmentation is just a process in which uh, the posterior part of the plant will break into a new thallus after dead end decay of the plant okay so it is very simple adventitious branches so what are adventitious branches these are a structure which develop on any part of the thallus and separate and then grow into a new plant so it's not a big deal it's very simple what are gamma cups so gamma cups are a cup like structure those are growing on the dorsal surface of the thallus as i told you that marginia has two surfaces uh, ventral and dorsal so the gamma cups are grows on the dorsal surface of, of the thallus and uh, i have already mentioned a diagram here uh, you can see these are gamma and they are, these are this is gamma cup and these are gamete gamma you can see these all are gamma cups and each gamma cup can reproduce uh, or we can say not reproduce in case of asexual reproduction but uh, the gamma cup produce into a new plant okay and into a new thallus we can say now sexual reproduction so now what will happen in uh, sexual reproduction in case of sexual reproduction it is oogamous type what is oogamous oogamous o means advance it means male and female gametes are here male gamete is small but motile motile means they have flagella maybe uniflagellate biflagellate multiflagellate right and and female gamete if we talk about female uh, female gamete so in in oogamous type of sexual reproduction female gamete are larger in size but non motile it means they uh, they they have not any type of flagella right all species are dioecious so now what is the meaning of dioecious dioecious means where male and female sex organ are present on different thallus not in same thallus in different thallus but in case of monoecious species there are many monoecious species in which male and female sex organs are present on the same thallus but in case of dioecious plant male and female gametes are present on different thallus right sex organs are anthridia anthridia in case of male and archegonia in case of female and now anthridia will develop and or we can say born on the anthridiophore and archegonia born on the archegoniophore right now discuss now we will discuss about the anthridia th that is male sex organ so anthridiophore is uh, generally differentiated into two parts stalk and disc in next next slide i will show you that what is stalk and what is disc and how the anthidia will look like right and this is eight lobed structure 
it represent a single branch of the thallus it will look like this these are eight lobed two here two here two here and two here and disc is middle in thin and uh, middle in uh, in middle portion disc is thin and in and uh, thin towards periphery and uh, there are lots of air chambers present here and which are generally helping the exchange of gases right this is the simple structure about anthidia and now archegonia and you can see archegonia will look like this on the dorsal surface of the thallus and this is also known as carposifilum right and it is also differentiated into stalk and disc stalk is short which elongates, elongates after fertilization and this is eight lobed structure directly away from the center right and uh, archegonia develop on upper surface of disc in acropetal the upper surface of the disc is known as acropetal region right and but the, there is a there is an interesting thing that is uh, that that is the new axel or we can say new archegonia will develop at the corner at the terminal end of the disc here right here all the new axles or we can say archegonia will develop at the terminal portion of the disc it, it is disc and this is stock right now I have taken a diagram so we can see that these all are you can say these all are archegonio for archegonia it means these are female sex organ and here you can see these are small structure with those are eight lobed these are males sex organ it means these are anthridia right and male and female gamete both are attached by the help of stalk like this stalk like structure here you can see because these are born on the thallus of marcantia right so it will completely look like this right now after the process of fertilization now after that the fertilization will take place as i told you that water is essential for the act of uh, act for fertilization in case of bryophytes so what will happen in this process in the process of fertilization the male gamete that is anthrazoite it will uh, develop into a new plant when 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 it will swim in the presence of water and reach up to female uh, female portion of the thallus so it will start to uh, move into the into the uh, into the female track like x x cell okay and start to fertilize them so when the fertilization takes place it means male and female gamete you know male and female gamete they fertilize and form a diploid structure zygote and the zygote will divide into different cellular stages and it will form a sporophyte and now sporophyte has three part food seta and capsule food is a um, structure which is generally help uh, helpful for receiving nutrients from the mother plant or we can say uh, from gametophyte plant right because gametophyte is an independent plant body and sporophyte is completely depend on the gametophytic plant body and uh, now seta or we can say stalk stalk is a structure which connect uh, foot and the capsule together right and now we have capsule so capsule 
कैप्सूल इज स्पोर बियरिंग स्ट्रक्चर विच कंटेन्स स्पोर्ट्स इलेटर्ड्स नाउ इलेटर्ड्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ एट द टाइम ऑफ वी कैन से फेवरेबल कंडीशन एट द टाइम ऑफ मैच्योरिटी दे स्पोर्ट्स विल बस्ट आउट फ्रॉम द कैप्सूल एंड दे विल ग्रो एंड डेवलप इन टू अ न्यू प्लान थैलेस और वी कैन से न्यू मार्किशिया बॉडी वट एवर थैलस वट एवर इज देयर राइट सो इट जस्ट अ स्ट्रक्चर विच बस्ट आउट कैप्सूल बिकॉज दीज आर स्पोर बियरिंग एंड स्पोर्ट्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड नाउ आई विल ट्राई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू दिस इज दिस इज एक्चुअली a capsule a sporophyte of the marchensia so you can see here these this is foot region and this is actually the microscopic slide seta and this is com whole capsule this is capsule and this is spore mixed with elaters elaters are sterile structures which are helping at the time of busting at the time of bust and these are calyptra calyptra are sterile cells which provide only support to the developing sporophyte or we can say developing capsule right so it was all about the reproduction i am trying to explain you in a simple manner and in next video we will discuss about life cycle of marchensia and uh, If you like my video please do like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video